In this video we're going to learn to make better labels. Um, although we've got quite a lot of control in how we do a label using that Pongo um, text that we can have, actually the background we don't have much control over. So I'm going to show you how to do this using an event box and using the fact that labels are transparent in um, GTK. Okay, so let's make a label that's got a different coloured background. So we've got our basic um, start again, but you'll notice that there's this one um, extra import here where we bring in the GDK, and that's going to give us um, access to the different colours. And I've called the um, the program and better labels. Okay, so a lot of this is going to seem really simple, just what we've done before. So I'm actually going to do this on a box um, box layout. So I'm going to do, which we've just got from an earlier one, so it's self dot box equals gtk um, dot box. Um, I'm going to make the orientation um, equal to whoops vertical and I'm whoops, a comma there and I want the spacing between the various parts to equal to it's exactly what I did before um, I want to add this box to um, the the window so self um, dot add and I want to add self dot box okay so how do we um, get a label with a background well the thing about the label is that it's transparent so you can see straight through it so we can kind of get um, some color behind the text but only behind each character we want the whole button that way so what we're actually going to do is we're going to make in an event box um, which effectively is just um, a blank widget if you like and on top of that we're going to add the label and it's the event box that will have the color and the label will stick on top in terms of color choices I can't guarantee anything I'm not very good when it comes to colors so we're going to do um, self dot and I want an event box I'm just going to call it um, EV box doesn't matter what you call it and it's going to be GTK um, dot events box so there we go, that's whoops, on that, that's that made. And then what I want to do, this event box, I want to change its um, background colour. Now it took me a while to work this one out, but what we have to do is we have to um, override, uh, let's spell that right, good. We want to override the background colour got everything right there and what we want to do um, first of all we're going to set the state um, of that EV box and I want the state to be normal which is just zero and this is where that GDK comes in we've got GDK and I want to use the RGB um, color way of doing things so um, I'm going to make this a bit on the red side so 0 0.9 comma zero that should make it as light red zero um, so we've got our red uh, sorry we've got our red our green our blue and then we can decide how much you can see through this kind of makes it ha how transparent it is so I'm going to make it completely opaque um, the next thing we want to um, do is we want to make our two labels so we don't have to have two labels I'm just doing two to show the difference so we'll have label one and that's going to equal a GTK um, dot label and I'm going to have this say sum nothing can be clever in this and then I want um, self dot LBL whoops LBL2 and I want that to be a label again so that's GTK dot label oops God, I'm not doing very well here label and we'll give this the title stuff 
and then what I want to do is to the box here it's just an, it's just an empty box at the moment I want to do self dot ev box and then just like we add the um, the box to the window here to the box we're going to add the and um, the label so I'm going to say self um, dot and then I'm going to add doesn't really matter which label we add I'm going to add label one. So label one is going to be the label that's got this ready background. I think it's a ready background anyway. So now what I want to do is add the EV box and label two um, to my grid layout. And that's going to be no different to my box layout, sorry, which is going to be no different to the way that we um, did it in a previous video. So we want to pack start. And the first thing we want to do is add the EV box and um, true, no different here, true and zero. And then the next one I want to do is I want to add in label two label two so that should be everything let's run that I've got this under lesson four but um, in the one that you get it will say lesson eight it's just because I changed goodness me um, lesson four let's run that see what happens and there we go you see we've got our label and it's got that red background there I hope you found the video helpful. Um, all the code that was used in the video will be supplied below. Stay in infield with Winfield.